Yeah, hello again. I've put a short video together on how to activate your cruise control automatically after you start the engine. So I hope you find this helpful. I find the cruise control system in a lot of these cars quite annoying. In the Nissan, every time you start the vehicle, you have to activate the cruise control and then you can set it when you get up to speed. Now, this is not common on a lot of vehicles. I have two Mercedes Benzes and with those vehicles, a van and a car, when you start the engine, the cruise control is active, ready to set. So you can accelerate up to speed, just hit the set and away you go. To solve my problem, I used a $10 electronic module that's programmable and it turns the cruise control on a few seconds after I start the vehicle. I'll show you how it works. That's the connector for the cruise control and it's the sky blue and the black wire that need to be connected to turn the cruise control on or off. So when you operate the switch here, all that does is it momentarily connects those two wires together to either toggle it on or off. So I'm going to expose the copper wire on the sky blue and the black just take a short section off and I'm going to solder some wires on. So I made up a lead and I've soldered the ends to the sky blue and the black wire and I put a connector on the other end. So to demonstrate how this works, the ignition's on and if I use the buttons there I can turn the cruise on and off. But if I just bridge those two wires that I connected with the screwdriver here. Same thing, see, it just went on, just went off. So I've just neatened up the cable, cable tied it to there. That's the connector in the end of the ignition barrel and the brown wire there is 12 volts with the ignition on. So what I've done is I've soldered a red wire onto that just here. That's going to be the power supply for the module. So the red wire continues down to a connector and then I've got an earth wire there as well so they'll be able to plug straight into the module. This is a really handy uh, relay timer module. You can pick them up for about $10 and we're going to use this to activate the cruise control after we start the car. So I've rigged it up to a um, power source. So I've connected a fan just to show you when the relay closes. So when that closes, it sends power to the fan, turns it on. What we're going to do is use this relay to momentarily connect that sky blue and black wire, which is the same as having an electronic finger to push the cruise control on button. So there are four buttons here. The one on the end here is the set button, that's called the switch button, an up or plus button and that's a minus button. Now we'll put it on to program 3 because that's the one we're going to use. It will delay closing the relay for the T1 setting, which in this case uh, we set that at 5 seconds. And then it will keep the relay closed for the T2 setting, which uh, was 4 seconds, and then it opens up again. We'll put it on to program 3, so I'll hold that set button down. It's now flashing. We'll hit the plus button, so I'll go up to number three. Now, I'll hold that in to save the setting. It's counting down. Three, two, one, on. Two, one, off. I'm going to set T2. That's the amount of time the relay will be closed. I'm going to set that to one second. And T1 is on five seconds. So let's try that. So I'll hold the setting key down, it's flashing, touch it again, that's T1, touch it again, that's T2, and we'll reduce that to one second. Now hold the set key. 
four, three, two, one, close and open. So that program is saved in there and it's activated every time we put power to this little board. Five, four, three, two, one, close, open. So I'm going to set T1 to 10 seconds and leave T2 at one second. So when I turn the ignition key on, timer will start and then 10 seconds later, it will close the relay for one second, which will connect the sky blue and the black wire together for one second, which will turn the cruise control on for me. So let's try that. Just hold the set key down. It's on program three, touch it again. That's T1, so we'll make that 10 seconds. Now I'll get to nine, but I can't go any further, so that's when you hit the switch key. Now the second digit is flashing, so we'll make that a, a one and bring the other one back to zero. So I'll toggle the switch key again. That one's flashing. Yeah, that's 10 seconds. Hold the set key. All right, it's counting down. Nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close, open. So this is the equivalent of turning the key on, putting power to the board. It's a delay of 10 seconds. So now we've completed our setup. The other thing I'm going to do is if you hold the plus key down for a second, it puts it into power saving mode, which means that the display will turn off 10 seconds after this module has been activated. So I'll hold this down for a second. So that'll flash twice. That confirms that it's in power saving mode. So let's try it. We'll count down. Six, five, Four, three, two, one, close, open. And now the display's gone off and all that's on is a tiny little red LED. So my next step is to make a couple of fly leads with connectors on each end to connect to the wiring I've already put in the vehicle. This side is the 12 volt in, so that is the positive, the middle is the negative. Now on the other side here, that's the terminal for the relay, so when the relay closes, it connects the middle one and that end one together. So here's my assembled module, ready to plug in. I'll show you how to set this on seven seconds for T1 and quarter of a second for T2. So hold the set key down. Toggle again, we've got 10 seconds there, so make that seven. Hit the switch key, bring that one back to zero. So that's T1 on seven seconds. T2, jump ahead to NX. This is where you can factor your time settings. At the moment, they're both set on one because the first two digits are the factor for T1 and the next two digits are the factor for T2. If you set it on zero, that has a factor built in of 0 0.005. The time, if you put the time back on T2 at 50, it'd be 50 times 0 0.005 is quarter of a second. Change this to zero. So that will give us a factor of 1 on T1 and will give us a factor of 0 0.005 on T2. So we'll drop that down to 0. Hit the set key, 
again that's t1 again t2 so it's currently on one second so we'll make that 50 so it'll be 50 times 0 0.005 so i'll bring that back to zero switch key to get to the next digit three four and five hold the set key in and it's counting down three two one Six, five, four, three, two, one. Close, open.